Reflation, inflation, reopening, and this comes off a summer in which this trade did not perform well. Uh, yes, and I'm glad to be on today. This is the kind of day that we think <laughs> is going to be typical going forward. It's all the above, Kelly. We're, we're going to have, we had obviously the Delta variant caught a lot of people by surprise. It caught markets by surprise. It caught me by surprise. And it wasn't good for, for what I'm about to say, which is that we think directionally we're going to have a very strong economy based on reopening, based on pent up demand. We're going to have uh, a lot of inflation, uh, and we are going to have higher interest rates. We are going to have tight labor markets. We're going to have consumers and workers with more money in their pockets and itching to spend that money. And we're going to have record high money supply. All of those things point to reopening, reflation, uh, uh, higher interest rates. And that's good for a certain kind of stock, value stocks. It's not so good for growth stocks. What happens if we get further into the fall? We all are headed inside for the winter, and there's a fifth wave that starts making the rounds. What if the taper talk this week is a little bit more hawkish than expected? Yeah, well, then interest rates will go up higher. But you're absolutely right. The risk to this, and I, I do think I said this was a risk three months ago, if, if COVID doesn't get better like I think it's going to, uh, then that wouldn't be good. But we're all we are making progress with the vaccinations. Rates are getting higher. People are building up immunity from having gotten the disease. I don't think the next round is going to be as bad as this. Even this round, the deaths weren't as bad, uh, even though the cases have been so ugly. So I think we're making progress uh, against this disease, and I think we're going to be pretty close to dealing with it. Remember, it, it doesn't have to go away completely. It just has to be something where the economy can deal with it, and I think we're going to have that conditions next year. Let me flip the question on its head a little bit. In a week where the, the NASDAQ's over 15,000, uh, the S&P 500 over 4,500, when do you look at those levels and feel like things are a little unmoored? You know, um, importantly, uh, so we think the tech stocks are uh, unanchored to reality. They are benefiting dramatically from these low interest rates. We've talked about this before. Tech stocks earn their money way in the future. If you have a low discount rate, then the present value of those earnings is pretty close to that of a value stock. Value stocks make their money today, so they're less hurt. They're, they benefit less from low interest rates. So as that changes, we think now the NASDAQ is exposed. The S&P 500 is exposed because it's got such big exposures to large cap tech stocks. So we think the right place to be is in value, small cap value. Uh, the fund that I manage is trading at 13 times earnings. We think that's uh, the wow. opportunity.